Oh, my first day at Bridgene was pretty exciting. I was really nervous. I was desperate to get a locker. We were all really um, excited and nervous at the same time. It was interesting and it was a little intimidating, but it was really exciting. It was exciting to, you know, be in high school. And I had a few friends that I'd gone to primary school with that also came along. But then it was meeting all these other people who came from different areas. My first day at Bridgerton St Ives on the 9th of February 1954. Nine pupils, it was raining. It rained a lot that year. Uh, when I started Bridgerton, there were 160 students. So I once again felt tiny in this huge school. The uniform was long. I mean, for year seven, it was pretty much down to your ankles. The uniform when we started at Bridgetine was not nice. It was, uh, it, I think the summer uniform was okay. The winter uniform was just like, you might as well just put a potato sack on. There was no fashion statement going on there. Mother Romuald insisted on it. it was called Scarlet and Fawn were our colors. Girls, don't call it red. Faith and religion play a big part. Um, being a Bridgetine girl, as it's being a Catholic school, plays a big part in the everyday life. One of the things I remember when we were doing religion at Bridgeo was you were allowed to have an opinion and you were able to put it forward and you weren't, you were never shut down. You were able to express your interpretation of, of, of what the Bible meant. And at the end of the day, what it was teaching you was to pretty much just do the right thing. We liked being part of the the family and being part of the tradition that the nuns were trying to pass on to us. I remember Mother Romuald said, there's nothing more powerful in the world than example. And she said, and that's good or bad example. It never occurred to me that I was a Bridgetine girl. It was just simply where I was. And again, as I said, you know, later on is when I realized what I got from it. And it was the friendship. I have fond recollections of my teachers. I remember, being in, interested in English because of the teacher that we had. I remember being really interested in history because of the teachers. And, you know, my art classes, I think we had Mrs. Leet at the time. She was fascinating and it was, it was inspiring. And I look back now and I remember people who, who, who taught me things. You know, not just, they didn't just teach, teach a subject, but they taught you. It makes it feel like you're not doing boring work. Um, they make the class engaging and everyone contributes and it's just something that makes you want to learn. I was always aware that we were Bridgetine's followers in the tradition of St Bridget, which we didn't at first know, it wasn't clear to us what that exactly was, but I liked, we liked being part of the, the family and of being part of the tradition that the nuns were trying to pass on to us. I think the biggest thing that I got from being a Bridgetine girl was it never occurred to me that my gender could stop me from doing what I wanted to do. I mean, it was an all-girls school, but it never occurred to me that there were restrictions on anything I could do. You were taught to be independent. There were no restrictions on who we could become. So being a Bridgetine girl has been pretty important. Um, I've started to learn the qualities that I'll keep with me for the rest of my life, um, like compassion, leadership, kindness, um, just being overall caring to everyone I meet and they'll definitely stay with me for the rest of my life. It was only after leaving and you, you know 20 years later thinking about it is just like wow I had an awesome school experience. When I see how the school has developed and how um, great it's become and how I'm, I'm proud to talk about it to other people, tell people how, how good our school is. It was such a nice and nurturing school that you don't really appreciate until you've left. And when you start talking to other people about their school experience, it's just like, oh wow.
Yeah, I've always been proud to be a Bridgerton girl and still am. It's great. <laughs>